Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look uh, honestly at the performance of Interudagon in the Omega Shenron event. So, speaking plainly, uh, Interudagon is a great unit. Uh, one of his big weaknesses is when disable when evasion is disabled. Thank you, not when disabled is evasion. Uh, but when evasion is disabled, essentially he's very well diminished not useless but definitely not nearly as effective uh, as he would be with evasion being a constant factor now uh, to speak plainly in the omega sharon event this does not hinder him um, he faces the tech omega sharon first up which is the only phase that has evasion disabled and he handles himself more than fine he raises his defense, which helps him to get through this phase, and even then he just doesn't take a lot of damage because he has natural type advantage. Then, once he does get past this phase, he's usually pretty much ready to go against the other phases. So, usually you come out of the tech Shenron phase, you can almost, most times, transform into Rudagon. Um, he's incredibly powerful against the strength and the end phases. Uh, the evasion kicks in then, so he's pretty much untouchable, basically damn near untouchable. I think you have more chance of it, like, seeing him get hit is so incredibly rare if he can evade. Like, once he transforms, actively seeing him get hit is one of the rarest things uh, to actually see in the game. It's, it's almost, it's almost uh, unbelievable. So yeah, and damage is good. Uh, obviously, you know, damage specifically is pretty good. Um, from the strength phase onwards, you get that nice big damage boost, which is kind of where it matters, because that's where the AOEs are going to kick in. You're talking, uh, depending on your dupes, but anywhere between 9 to 12 million attack stats, crits, evasion, all really good stuff. So into Rudagon, uh, for me, is fantastic in most events, but specifically evaluating him in the Mega Shenron, uh, I think the Disable Evasion doesn't really phase him. That is in part due to his very decent starter turn defense, uh, but also in part due to the fact that he has the int type advantage over the tech phase, and I think that's a very important factor to consider. All in all, uh, I think Interudagon's great in a ton of hard content. Um, yeah, personally speaking, I think he's an incredibly strong unit in uh, plenty of content. But um, I do think, specifically looking at Omega Shenron, uh, he's a great unit to use. He excels, I think he's really, really quite solid. Uh, and I think ultimately at the end of the day, he does incredibly well. Uh, I think he's you know, a unit that's consistent. I think he aids the team as well. Um, this movie boss's team cleared Omega Shenron with relative ease, actually, once you threw in into Rudagon. Like, he elevates the team because he can act as, like, a first slot tank. Uh, he can act as, you know, a good floater. Uh, but really, it's providing another first slot tank for this team. Um, all of a sudden, Physical Janemba can sit in the second slot the whole time. Strength Cell, I mean, Strength Cooler, can sit in the second slot the whole time. Uh, AGL freezes more a floater than a baseline first slot tank. It's just a yeah, it's just a very good, very good changeup for the team. So um, he elevates the team, helps them to complete super hard content. He himself can complete the super hard content um, carries as well. It's not just like he doesn't do anything. Uh, he's chucking out very good damage, very good performance, um, and yeah. I think overall fantastic. Uh, personally speaking, very impressed, uh, very happy with his performance here, and I think incredibly consistent. Uh, I think for me, um, a unit that ultimately at the end of the day is incredibly fun to use, and I think, yeah, um, all things considered, is just a really, really good, consistent, high level performer. Mega Shenron doesn't give him any issues. I think events that disable evasion later on might, but he does have the stacking to assist him there. I think timing favors him a little bit here. But I think, yeah, once you get that perfect Rudagon um, and your strength phase onwards, you're pretty much good to go. He's, there's just nothing that can... There's nothing really that can stop him. Uh, he's just really like an incredible unit with such a high levels of performance that um, I think there's, you know, not anything bad I can say. 
for me personally, um, I think he elevates the team. And I just want to do a shout out because this tech Janemba, <laughs> this tech Janemba is holding his own so ridiculously late on, by the way, because of his damage reduction and guard mechanic. Um, this guy, <laughs> I've used him as a float on movie bosses as a support, I think, for like since his release. And he just doesn't seem to. I know he ages, but he <laughs> just seems to just keep hanging in there. It's really impressive. Um, but yeah, in Harutagon, fantastic. Uh, the team elevated by his presence. And now doing a Mega Shenron with movie bosses feels way smoother. Even just with a friend in Harutagon. Uh, I had a much smoother time with this team. My team felt very good. I didn't have HP requirements. It was great. 